good afternoon, everybody. Everybody should be afternoon, I believe. Hey, everybody, it's Ian the off Kilter Crafter. I hope you're having a great day today. Uh, I'm cutting off the top of my head. I'm looking down at my computer over here. So, yeah, this is not my normal setup. <laughs> so, things may get a little weird as I navigate this process because technology um and we're doing something a little out of the ordinary today so i thought i would bring you all along i've been dying to open this box since i got it but i held off i held off and i said i will open it on a live stream so that way everybody can hang out with me and open it with me yes i did receive this uh this is the prize one of the prizes that i won from uh sewing machines plus and uh, when I won the virtual quilt fest, again, thank you guys so much for voting for me. This would not be possible without all of you. Greatly appreciate your support and your help making this happen. I am so excited to finally own a Juki. And uh, it's pretty awesome that it got sent to me. By the way, I gotta say, uh, Melissa, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining the membership. Member for three, or you've been a member for three months, excuse me. I apologize. You've, you've been a member. You're just now saying uh, you get that little free highlighted message. So hello. Um, I think that's how that works. Uh, YouTube. Um, Catherine, go to, so good to see you. Melissa, Charlotte, so glad to have y'all here as channel supporters. And of course, Melody, Paula, Jean, uh, Diane, Tracy, Don, Donna, Brenda, good to see you. Uh, Jackie, Michelle's Crafts, and more. Hello, good to see you. Just for the help, ho, 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 just, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Just for the health of it, Lynn, good to see you. Just sat down to dinner and here you are. Here I am. <laughs> uh, Melissa says that this is her dream machine. I am super excited. I've used the Becca's whenever I've been at Becca's, but I'm so excited to uh, have it and open it here and actually have one that I can call my own now. So it's pretty awesome. It will not become my daily driver. My daily driver will still be my Bernina. I love my Bernina, but I am excited to have the Juki around for sure. I know, lucky, lucky me. I'm so lucky, lucky because of all of you. Thank you guys so much. So I have, I do have a second camera set up. I have this set up today. Let me know which y'all, which camera y'all like better. Do you like the cam? Do you like camera one or do you like camera two? Camera two or camera? One, let me, let me know your thoughts. Oh, and as you can see, by the way, uh, Continuum has been ironed. I've been uh, working on getting it uh, ready to go, so I need to cut it still. But if you're doing Continuum and you wanna purchase the kit, nine kits are left. Uh, if you type in exclamation point kit, you will get the link to Threaded, line, threaded Lines where there are nine kits available. Use so off kilter. That's S E W off kilter. Get five dollars off your order from Threaded Lines. Thank you, Threaded Lines, for doing that. By the way, they do weigh a ton. Oh my gosh, they weigh so much. I do have a nice backup sewing machine. I'm so excited. Um, it is a little heavier than I expected, to be honest. It was 38 pounds, if I remember correctly. 30, I think it was 38. Okay, I've got conflicting. I've got two. I've got one. I've got one for the unveiling, all over the place. I can always do, <laughs> sorry, I hit the wrong button. I can do this one. I can do picture, see, I have a picture, a picture and picture. You can see picture and picture. Does this work? How about this? What, what does everybody think about this one? Ian, is the Juki a more heavy duty machine than your Bernina? It is a little more heavy duty than my Bernina. Um, I feel like I was able to do a little like I felt a little more confident on it over my Bernina, like when I've used Becca's. So I'm super, I'm super excited. Uh, Melissa says that she is cutting out Continuum tomorrow. Thank you for the code. You're very welcome. I'm so glad that you got to use it. Yeah, that works. See, we got, we got double cameras going on, double cameras. All right, so how about we open it? Should we open it? Yeah. I think we should. I think we should open it. I, as you can see, the tape is still brand new. I haven't undone the tape at all. So we're gonna start by cutting the tape. By the way, if y'all don't have one of these, these are awesome. These are cardboard knives on Amazon. They're the best knives for cutting open packages and breaking down boxes. Highly recommend them. Somebody was asking me, uh, <laughs> 
Dragonflies for Donna says, want to store the Juki here during the move off kilter? Uh, maybe not. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen during the move, to be honest. What all did you win? Okay, so I won this Juki. I won an AccuQuilt Go. I won an, a digital embroidery file set. I won a Allegro baby lock and an Elena X. I can't see what that says because it's wrapped up in plastic. So I will probably be selling the baby lock and the Elena. Uh, I need to find, I need to figure out where to sell them at, but I'm probably going to be selling those um, because I don't really need those machines. I'm sure they're nice, but they're just not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in my Jukies and I'm interested in my Berninas, but those two other machines, who knows, maybe if you're interested, email me and we can work something out where, uh, you know, we, we work out a purchase price and a shipping and all that kind of stuff, but I'm probably going to sell those. Open, open, open. Make note of the factory settings. You may need them later. Ask me how I know. Good to know, Lady Fair. Good to know. Okay, so I've got these staples in here that I need to get. <laughs> um, so Linda is asking, oh my God, how did you win all of this? I won this and this thing. I won this through, this was from the um, Sewing Machines Plus Virtual Quilt Fest. Uh, and everybody chose my quilt. Everybody voted for my quilt and I won first place in the viewer's choice. So, oh man, I just dropped it on the floor. I don't know if y'all saw that or not. I gotta, I gotta fix that in a minute. The knot came undone again. So anyways, um, yeah, I won all of this from that and I'm super, super like, so ex I'm so excited for this Juki. Like could not. Can you show the knife up close? Absolutely, I can. I'm gonna switch back to this camera real quick so that I can show the, ca the camera this knife. Can I do, can I do it like the, the uh, models do on, it's, it's this knife right here. It is wonderful. I love this knife so much. Perfect for cutting cardboard. It is greatness. It is called the Canary Knife. C-A-N-A-R-Y, Canary Knife. It is amazing. Did I do it? Nope, not that one. There we go. All right. <laughs> nope, didn't see you drop it. Didn't see it happen. Good. Glad you didn't see that. I got to get these staples out. They're not wanting to come out. Maybe I should have like started to open it before I got on live stream. Thank you, Lindsay. Or excuse me, Linda, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Oh, okay, there we go. Careful with the staples. Absolutely, I'm, I did kind of poke myself a moment ago. There we go, all right. There's one, only th <laughs> three more to go. Three more staples to go. Eesh. Le uh, Shelly says, love the quilt behind you. Thank you. I love this one too. This is uh, one of my favorite quilts that I've ever worked on. Adds to the suspense, says D. I know, right? Doesn't it? Adds to the suspense. Open, open, open. I'm ready to open it. I've been, I was so close to opening it last night. So, so close to opening it last night. First aid kit standing by, right, Donna? Probably should. Probably should have one standing by. All right, one more. There we go. <laughs> so I live in um, Dallas, Fort Worth, and right now there is an air show. I don't know if y'all are gonna be able to hear it, but every now and again, I'm hearing airplanes flying around, and we're talking like the Blue Angels, so yeah. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. There we go. Okay, all four staples. That was a workout. Okay, guys, we're done. Have a great day. Every no, just, kidding. just kidding, everyone. Um, hey, Deb, thank you for being here, and thank you for being a channel member. All right. Oh, this is so cool. So the first thing we have, of course, are the instructions. We have the instruction manual for the Juki TL 2010Q. 
Um, we have an inspection card inspected by PUDSH00598. Tran Hugh Hung was the one that inspected. Thank you, Tran. I appreciate you. <laughs> we, of course, have the knee bar. We have the knee bar, first thing off. If Tiffany was to open that box, she would have had it open in her first quilt already done. <laughs> Brenda, you're not wrong. You are not wrong at all. You have better restraint than I do, Ian. I would not have been able to wait. It was hard. It was really, really hard to wait. Oops, that's the power cord. I just dumped the power cord in there. So we have got a power cord. I'm actually gonna set these over here. And then, oh my gosh, there's so many feet in here. There's feet and oil and bobbins and needles and the screwdriver is poking out from the plastic. It looks like it made it right through the plastic. Uh, hurry, hurry, I have to go put the horses to bed. Ellen, I'm trying, I'm trying. Yeah, there's a walking foot in here. I did not realize that there would be a walking foot in the original package. That's freaking awesome because I was gonna buy one and then I don't need to now. So we have a whole bunch of feet, tools, oil, things like that. Ellen, I'm trying, I'm trying. We have, of course, the foot pedal control. Open it there. <laughs> that was funny. Your ironing board looks like mine. A, a collecting, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, that's, uh, yeah. That's that. Yeah, it's a. I have, I have a horizontal, uh, horizontal surface syndrome. Uh, that is where if it is horizontal, I put stuff on it. All right. So, anyways, uh, this must be the table. Oh, and it's got more tape on it. It's got more tape on it. Got to cut through the tape. Not feet yardage. <laughs> you get a lot, yeah, you do get a lot of stuff for the value. I'm, I'm very impressed so far. Very, very impressed. Hi, Karen, good to see you. If I miss any of the comments, I'm so sorry. I'm a little distracted at the moment, to be honest. All right, yeah, here is our sewing table. Put that down there for now. I'm keeping all this, because obviously I'm gonna be moving, so I need to keep all of it for when I move, but here is our beautiful table. Ah, ha, ha, with our flip down feet, whoop, whoop, pow. Um, awesome. Set this over here. Yes, I have too much stuff. All right. <laughs> and then we have the machine. Um, oh wait, we have something over here. What's this? Oh, it's the cover. We have the cover for the machine. I was like, what is this flat object? It's the cover. Um, okay, how am I gonna do this? I just watched Tiffany's video of her, her opening her second and she said it was different than her first. Oh, that's interesting. Kate says, Ian, a new machine, how fun. I hope your Bernina doesn't get jealous. No, she's not gonna get jealous. She'll be fine, she'll be okay. Uh, how am I going to get this out? Um, let's see here. Uh, um. Maybe if I do it like this. This is where having a partner would be super helpful. Okay. <laughs> that scared. That scared the heck out of me. Oh my gosh, I could just see myself like it all fall out on the floor. Oh goodness gracious. All right. Hi everyone. Um, let's see. I've decided I sew better with a few things out. I prefer neat, but it, but I'm better with some things out. That's fair. That is, oh, it just shocked me. Um, nice big table. It is a very big table. Where are you moving still in Texas? Lady, uh, I am going to be talking about that tomorrow. So make sure to tune in tomorrow. Ian, I need to send you a picture of how I store my bobbins and feet and tools in the juki. Yes, please. Oh my God, I have that too. Horizontal surface syndrome. Whoa, boy. Uh, 
Okay, everything's fine. Everything's good. And Donnell says, be right there, Ian, hold tight. Um, I, Louise, I do need another pair of hands. Goodness gracious. Uh, Charlotte says that she never knew the name of the horizontal surface syndrome. Yep, it's, it's a thing. It is a thing. All right, there we go. Shoot, it shocked me. Oh, look at that. All right, I'm going to set this over here. Ta-da! Ba -ba -bum. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, all right. Wow, it's all fancy. Let me take this off. There we go. We got the silica gel. I'm gonna keep this. It's. Always, I'm gonna keep this in the box. Oh, don't rip that. Okay, we're just gonna put that there. I started to rip it, and I didn't want the contents to fall out. All right, so that's gonna go back in the box. Ah, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. All right, so okay. So now let me grab the table that goes along with it. <laughs> Donnell says, I have the, oh, look, an empty spot syndrome. Uh, yep. Yeah. They are surprisingly heavy. <laughs> Turn it over and dump it out. Just kidding. Don't do that. Um, let's see. Now, if you had a cat, it would be in the box. right. Yeah, this is, this is how y'all know I don't have a cat. The cat would be in the box right this very moment and being like, meow, box, sweet. That was my impression of a cat. You're welcome. Is there a, can't tell if there's a bobbin in there at the moment. Um, how does this go on? I'm not doing something right. <laughs> Do I just like set it in place? Because my Bernina slides over. What is happening? What am I doing wrong? It's like sitting above my thing. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> Lynn says, oh my God, I'm all giddy with you. Yeah, it's still sitting above. Maybe it's because my, I think my table bows a little bit? I'm not sure. I think it's because my table bows is what it is. That fits a little better, but um, yeah, I think it's because the table's not perfect. Remember the foot pedal will also cut your thread if you press, the yes, like uh, my Bernina also does that. You might have to adjust the legs. Why these? What happens with it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> At least you can play the video and figure it out how to write. Exactly. I have a way to repack it, repackage everything when um, the video is over with. All right. So this goes in there. Boop -boo -boo. That goes down there. Boop -boo -boo. I was standing on my, um, stand I have a standing desk mat because I've been stand. I recorded a video today, and uh, I was standing for a really long time on my vinyl floor, and it was starting to hurt. So the feet are adjustable. You may have to turn them to lower the table. Good to know. Good to know. I may have to do that. Um, power. We should get the power. Power. All right. I'm gonna switch back to this camera, and I'm gonna bring y'all lower so you can see everything. How's that? Does that look better? Does that look better for everyone? Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like that. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Yo, Patty G. Hi, Jackie. Um, meaning to adjust the feet. I don't know. My feet are my my feet are pretty well adjusted. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I'm a goofball. see 
here. Put that there. Ooh, she's pretty. I know she is pretty, isn't she? And I'm gonna put stickers on her because I I don't put any stickers on my Bernina, but I am going to put stickers on this one. I have a Dutch Brothers sticker. I have a Silly Goose sticker from uh, uh, Goody Goods. I couldn't think of her name, Beth. That's her name. And then a Blockbuster. You're gonna need to get a, get a better table. This one will shake this one to death, yeah. This is not gonna be a permanent solution, especially since I'm gonna be moving. All right, Ellen says, uh, looks good. Congrats on the Juki. I've gotta run, bye, see you later. See you later. All right, so, um, let's see. Ooh, it's so fun. I don't know what to do. What's her name? I don't know. I don't know what her name is. Um, I'm sure I will figure out a name, but I don't know a name for her yet. All right, let me grab, oops, let me grab some thread. Um, where's my thread? Let's do, um, I can't, I should have, <laughs> this is a great unboxing everyone. All my stuff is everywhere. Great idea. <laughs> and did you get the other machines? Joy T, yes I did. I did get the other machines. I have all the machines. Um, and I now need to figure out, I'm probably gonna sell the other machines. I'm keeping the Juki, but the rest of them, I'm probably gonna sell. Um, okay, and I gotta pull this out. Name her Matilda. Oh my gosh, that is oil. Goodness gracious. Like my hand is coated in oil right now. I know you need to oil these things, but goodness gracious. Speaking of which, I need to double check the um, manual for the first time. Do I need to put any oil in it for the very first time? Let's find out. Ginger says, where are you moving to? That's a great question. That is a very good question. The camera's over here now, Ian. Great question, great, great question. Stay tuned. Look at those legs. You got legs for days. Somehow I got the impression you didn't like so Becca's Juki. No, I liked it. I actually liked it. When is the AccuQuilt unboxing? Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do an unboxing for the AccuQuilt. Do you want me to do an unboxing for the AccuQuilt? I feel like it's like, ta da <laughs> Tiffany had one and she said it was super oily. I'm glad, because goodness gracious, I'm like, I pulled out that bobbin and it was like, ugh, coated in oil. Hello, Ian and everyone. Cool, glad the Juki arrived safely. It looks like pretty exciting and it's, uh, isn't it exciting to get a new machine? It sure is. I'm just doing my homework to make sure that I don't need to add any oil to it before I start. Maybe it's a boy Juki. Double checking. I'm reading all the things, I'm sorry. I wanted to like do a little test sew with it, but I wanna make sure that I'm doing it correctly. Hello, Christine, good to see you. It doesn't say anything about oil. Oiling it the first time. I think if I do a couple of stitches with without oil, it should be fine, right? Like, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Lubricating, okay. Um, apply oil, a few drops, each at arrow points. Be sure, okay. Lubricate the machine once a day if you use it every day. I think it should be fine for the first time, right? I'm a beginner, I think I need an AccuQuilt Go. I don't know, you might, you might need one. 
Ran scrap fabric through it several times. Uh, this is from Jackie. She said her singer was like that. Really, really oily. So, it happens. I'm just like, it's like covered in oil, so. I think you're good to do a test stitch. Yeah, I think so too. I think it'll be fine to do a little test stitch, right? Hello from Virginia, says Morgan. Hello, good to see you. You can name it stud and tell everyone you just, you're just a love, you love your stud. That's hilarious. Love that, Donna. All right, so we're gonna put this, oh my gosh, it's like soaked the paper towel. I know you're supposed to have oil, but like, goodness gracious. Don't follow the manual for oiling? O okay. <laughs> okay. Why, why, why do I not follow? Why do I not follow the manual for oiling? I'm confused. Let me see, let me make sure. I... It'll be fine. Sewing machine online has a setup uh, process when you get them. Okay, good. All right, so I'm supposed to go up and then I'm supposed to go, oh, it just says around. Okay, I'm confused because the directions here say that I'm only supposed to go around the thing, but oh, wait, here it is. Thread the bobbin winder guide, okay. So now I go through the bottom up to the top, okay. Pass it through the hole located underneath the bobbin guide winder, okay. Da, 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 da. Doreen, thank you so much for adding a super chat. I appreciate that, you're so kind. All right, do that, and then I do this, right? Do I go up through the, I go up through the center, right? Yep, I go up through the center. I knew that, totally knew that. This is, this is me knowing everything. Ah! <laughs> this is quality content, right guys? Totally quality content. No, oh, it's not on the way it needs to be. It needs to click. I remember that. There. There we go. All right. So now, now I should be able to step on the pedal. Woo! And away we go. Um, somebody did something. Oh, that's Doreen. Thank you, Doreen. I really do appreciate that so much. All right, that should be enough for this. Uh, <laughs> name her Judy Junkie Juki. Bleh. Try saying that five times fast. Juki Junkies YouTube, you'll learn everything you need to know. I have been watching their videos as soon as I learned that it, this was gonna be headed my way. I learned all the things, I started learning all the things that I could. Okay, now I need to put the bobbin back, so. It needs to come off. Isn't this fun watching me <laughs> learn how to use my own machine? All right, so it comes off there, goes through there, goes in there, goes in there, there, all right. And now we put this into the machine. All right. Is that, is that in? Is it in? Don't repeat that. <laughs> Would oil every couple of weeks, just drop in the holes and in the casing and in the bobbin run. Okay, good to know. Whoops. The bobbin has a cutting thing inside of it? What? What? All right, so now we go. All right. Okay, so now Take it out of there. We go down through here. Down, up, down. And then we go around the thing like that. And then we go down through here and around through here and up through, yeah, up through there. That's what I thought up through there, up through here. 
down through here, down through, oop, down through there, ah! through here. You would think I would remember how to do all this from working with Becca's, but it's been a hot minute. It has been a hot minute. Get in there. There it is. Ta da! <laughs> All right. Yes, I will definitely watch some videos on how to like do all the things, do all the things. All right, so let's give it a go. Let's see what happens, right? Yeah. All right, everybody ready? Yeah, I need, I need a different table. <laughs> I need a different table. But, I mean, I will have to do, uh, yeah, I'll have to play a little bit with it because it looks like, yeah, I'll have to play around with the settings a little bit, but. It's working! Does it have a needle thread? Does it not have? It does have a needle threader on it. I don't know how to use it. <laughs> I've got to figure out how to use it. I keep looking at the wrong camera. I don't know how to use it yet, so I need to um, learn how to do that. I also need to learn how to, um, because I, I can see the top thread is coming down too far so I need to figure out how to adjust it a little bit let's go let's see if this works let's adjust that and see if that makes it a little better god it's so fast I'm so not used to it a machine that goes this fast don't forget to lift the knee. I, I have the knee bar. I don't really use a knee bar because it, it doesn't. Um... Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, that's much, much better. I like that a lot more. I think I might back it off just a hair though. Um, I don't like using a knee bar because I end up banging my knee into it rather than rather than that. Did you pull the thing from the bag, uh, your little roll of thread? Angela, a little thing of, wait, did you pull the thing from the bag under your little roll of thread? Oh, are you talking about, um, no, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Every Juki has different needs, my Juki, HZL only requires a dab of oil on a Q-tip on the bobbin case every cleaning while others need it more often. Check with Juki Junkies. Will do, Donnell. Need a date with your Junkie so you get to, I do need a date with my Juki so I can get to know it a little better. It does have a little, it does have a speed adjuster. I have it all the way set at Rabbit. <laughs> I got used to Rabbit over at Becca's. So. Whee! I don't even know if you can hear that or not. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, that looks good. I'm very happy with that. I am very pleased with how that looks. Let's go to 2.5. See what that does. That was actually on two. So if I go a little, little longer stitches, let's see what that does. Roll back on the foot pedal to cut. I, um, yeah, I need to do that. I need to learn. I need. I don't do that with my Bernina. Most of the time I'm hitting the button on the Bernina. I don't know why I keep looking at that camera. Don't look at that camera. Love the rabbit. Yep. I need to like learn how to do the, okay, I'm gonna do it. 
See, it's just weird. I just need to learn how to position my foot because it's when I where I'm putting my foot currently, it's a little awkward to do that. I have really long feet. So right now you can't see it, I know. But right now I have my foot where the heel of my foot is at the end of the pedal where you would rock back. There's about this much of my foot hanging off the front of the pedal. And that feels really awkward to me. So I typically have like my mid, about the middle of my foot on the pedal. Again, I know this is great content because you can't see my foot, but where I normally keep my foot, I have more of my toes over the edge versus like half of my foot just hanging off there. Start off slow, you can speed it up like Tiffany, yep. New Jukies always sound better than my old Kenmore. Maybe a dumb question, never, Luane. Maybe a dumb question, but to Juki users, can you use both thread spindles at the same time to sew? Is there a double needle feature, basically? I think that's what um, Luane is asking for. The compensation foot is the bomb for binding. I wish they made the foot for low shank machines. I love the left compensating foot, which I don't have. No, I don't have the I don't have the left compensating foot. But um, I do. I like I, when I was at Becca's and used Becca's. It was awesome. It was really really awesome. Um, you can put the black stopper on the bottom of the foot, which disables the cutting fu function on the pedal. Oh, good to know. Oh no, that was definitely open. Is it open? Oh, no, it's not open. Okay, good. I was like, oh gosh, this oil is gonna leak everywhere, but it has a cap on it on the inside. I turned off the cred the thread cutter um, cause, it, uh, cause it always nested when I started and my foot uh, was hurting trying not to press it. I can understand that. I definitely understand. Yee! There we go. Off topic says Donna's uh, Dragon's Fly for Donna. Uh, did your haircut, did you get a haircut recently because it looks particularly nice today? Thank you, Donna. Appreciate it. I did get a haircut semi recently um, back during the eclipse. I went over to my friend's house and he cut my hair for me. So, yeah. Uh, Luane, you can wind a bobbin and sew at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Congratulations. I have to go now. See you later. All right. Uh, Mitzi, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. I just got my few, I just got my Juki a few weeks ago. I love the foot pedal for thread cutting. It doesn't take too long to, to get used to. And I'm going to be bouncing back and forth between machines. So we'll see what happens. That looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll bring it up closer so you can see the um, lines. I don't know if my phone's gonna focus, but there we go. Looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. So the higher, the ones on the top, those were the first ones that I did. And then I adjusted and also made the stitch length longer. And those are the ones on the bottom. Melina says, it's like getting a new car. Let's see how fast it'll go, right? Charlotte says, I use the black stopper on the foot all the time to prevent the, cred, the <laughs> to prevent the thread cutter mid seam. Um, what are you talking about the black? I need to look through here. What else do we have in here? We have all sorts of goodies. We have the, um, I would call that the embroidery foot, but I know it's not the embroidery foot. We have the walking foot, which I'm so happy that came with this machine. I don't know what it, I don't know what this thing is. Y'all, y'all, tell me what this thing is. What is? What is this one? What is this one? How how does it work? Somebody, somebody, tell me what this one is. Donnell says, I don't even use the pedal to sew. I use the start stop button on the machine to sew. See, I can't do that. That I have to use the foot pedal because I, there are times that I need to go slow. There are times I need to go fast. Like I, I can't, I, I'm in a group for um, millennial quilters and I just can't, I can never use the foot pedal. Like I have to use the foot pedal. I have to use it. Um, 
Jackie says, I have the compensating foot for my Singer low shank and it's called something else, but it does the same thing. Aftermarket foot, got it. It's a zipper foot, oh. Susie, I did win this. I don't, I didn't, I didn't miss your comment, but, uh, oh, Suki, uh, yeah, Susie, I won this from the um, Sewing Machines Plus uh, virtual quilt fest. Zipper foot, oh, okay. Where did I put it? I just had it, oh, it's a zipper foot, okay. Zipper foot, interesting. Zipper foot, you're holding it wrong. <laughs> okay, thanks, Jackie. I guess it would go, huh, interesting. Does it, does it replace the foot that's on here? Hey, Crystal, good to see you. I might have to check that out. What if you need to go the other way? Do you like flip it over? I'm so confused. I'll, I'll look at the manual. I'll figure it out. I just was curious. Do we do it again? We do it again. So fun. So fun. You can slide the switch on the right or left side. Oh, okay, good to know, Lady Fair. Melina says, Jackie, I would love to hear about it. I've searched it with no luck. Let's see, Brenda says, you should be able to move the needle from one side of the foot to the other, depending on what side the zipper you are sewing on. That's good to know. How many machines did you win? Deb, I won three machines. I won a Baby Lock Allegro. Uh, and Elena something, I can't read it because it's wrapped in plastic, and then the Juki. But um, yeah, I won, I won three machines, oh my god. Um, but I'm probably gonna sell the other two. I don't need the other two. They're nice, but I, I'm, I need to sell the other two. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in a baby lock or an Elena, let me know. <laughs> we may be able to work out a deal. Um, how do you like your new toy? I love it. It's so cool. And I'm gonna put stickers on it. Can I put the, maybe, let's see. This is a big sticker. Shoot, I was hoping to put it on like over here, but I think it's too big. <laughs> That's what he said. I mean, uh, anyways. <laughs> uh, a sewing machine doing its job is the best sound in the world. I could fall asleep listening to Juki. Donnell, um, uh, uh, Bill um, actually does that. He'll actually nap to um, Tiffany's videos. He'll put one on and fall asleep and then when he wakes up, it's the quilt is finished, so. Yes, uh, Elizabeth. Oh, thank you. I got a Baby Lock Allegro, a large, yeah. It's very large. It's a very large throat space. It's crazy. Um, great jobs on your, well, Crystal, I would not have won all of this without your help. So thank you. Again, guys, thank you so much for helping me make this happen. I love this so much. This is a big sticker. I didn't realize how big this sticker is. I don't know that it's gonna work on my machine. Oh, maybe I could put it like that. I could put it up there, up top. That might work. I might be able to put it up there. Becca, look what I got. Becca's in the chat, everybody say hello to Becca. And now I just gotta figure out where to put all the stickers. I might, maybe I'll put my little, little sticker bud in there. Be like, hey, what's up? Donnell says, oh my God, dying laughing here. No, you did not just say that. No, I did not. I have no idea what you're saying. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, if you want to screw up the machine, try the walking foot. Christine, I don't want to mess it up. Uh, let's see. Deb says, I need to get my regular Bernina and my small black Bernina serviced. I need to get my Bernina serviced. And I'm so glad that this is here because now I can get my Bernina serviced and have a backup machine. On the end above the light. It's... It's too big with the thread cutter. It won't fit there, sadly. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. D says I put stickers on mine too. I 
am excited because I am going to be putting the stickers on my Juki. I don't put any stickers on my Bernina because she's the Tula Pink edition and I don't want like, I like her pristine. My Juki, I'm definitely going to be sticking stickers on it. Sticking stickers. Sticking stickers. Sticking stickers. It's so cool. I love this machine. Ah, it's awesome. The sound of the sewing machine is good. Something on fabric is the one. It's, oh, scissors on fabric is the best sound ever. I need to get my Singer 301 serviced. Elizabeth, I need to get mine serviced. I'm hoping maybe that Bill's dad, because Bill's dad works on vintage machines, I'm hoping that he might be able to help me out with that. So we'll see. All right. I always fixate on Becca's stickers in her, I know they're so fun stickers. There's some really fun stickers on hers too. I really want to see Becca has the Silly Goose sticker up here. Hers is, um, hers is right here. Silly Goose. But I think I want to, I don't know where I want to put this goose. Maybe I can put it, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Ooh, I can put it right there. <gasps> silly goose. I like that it's facing me because I'm a silly goose. I'm a silly goose. I love, uh, I love stickers on all of my machines. You do have them on all your machines. Uh, Dale says, Becca, your live last night was amazing. Thank you. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I lurked, but I was there. And then somebody called me out and I was like, dang it. They know I'm here. Yeah, it's so much fun. It's so much fun to do this. I'm getting the hang of the foot, the foot cutting of the thread. <laughs> the cutting of the thread with the foot. My eldest son says Crystal has a coffee table that he got millions of stickers on. It looks too cool. That's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I love the stitches. Snitches get stitches. All right. <laughs> At this point, I'm just delirious can't hide from us i know i know so becca says we always assume that you're there even when you're not in the chat i yeah because most of the time i'm there most of the time i am there so you're not wrong uh deb says be sure to save the spot facing the camera for the future uh for a future sticker of your logo i might do that i might stick my logo somewhere but I really want to put my coffee, my bat coffee sticker on it. Rock, rock baby, rock baby scissors. I think is her name on Instagram. She has them like covering everywhere. And I'm like, I, I don't know if I want them on here. Um, Cause I feel like as I would be pushing fabric that it might like peel up stickers. I don't know. Stickers on a sewing machine is like magnets on a refrigerator. You're not wrong, Deb. You're definitely not wrong. And Angela says, can't hide from us. You're not wrong either. <laughs> Any new moving hints? Not today, but I might have one tomorrow. I might have one tomorrow. If you tune in tomorrow, there might be another one. All right. Well, I think that's it. I think that's all I got. Thank you guys for hanging out. I feel like I've, let's see, we've been live for, oh, we've been live for 50 minutes, so not terrible, but yee! It's so much fun. And it's mine. It's my Juki. Ah! Uh, Sewing with Deb says, how fun, Ian. I have a TL-18 and we are still learning together. My favorite is the Featherweight 222. I love my Featherweight. Um, and I really want to sew with my 301. Where is my 301? Oh, it's over there. I really need to sew with my 301, but I, I want to get it serviced before I sew with it. So have you found a company to move you? Teresa, I have a company that I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with. I just need to pull the trigger. I actually talked to the office today. I haven't officially put in my like, um, notice that I'm going to be moving out but I wanted to talk to them 
Um, Cause the office doesn't open until 10 AM. And I was like, what if I wanted to like leave earlier in the day so that I didn't have to be on the road until midnight? And they were like, oh, you just leave your keys in the apartment. And I was like, oh, okay, good to know, good to know. So, uh, thank you, see you tomorrow. Thanks for the unboxing and sharing, you're welcome. I'll drop a hint, <laughs> LOL, he won't be moving south of where he lives. That is true. I will not be moving south of where I live. Uh, fun to watch the excitement, so much fun. Have fun in and with your new baby. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you. Again, thank you so, so much for helping me make this happen. I love my new Juki and I have all of you to thanks for this. I uh, could not have done it without you. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, so excited. All right, we're gonna end it here. We're gonna be live again tomorrow, so make sure to tune in tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna to be working on the gravity. I will not be using the Juki tomorrow because I'm working on the gravity quilt kit. And I already started in using my Bernina, so we're gonna be using my Bernina tomorrow. You will not see the Juki tomorrow, unfortunately. But you will see the Juki in the future, I promise you. So, all right guys, thank you, guys. Thank you all so much for watching and hanging out as I unbox my brand new Juki TL2010Q. Can I say that fast enough for you? Have a great evening, everybody, and I will catch y'all on the flip side tomorrow. Remember, guys, normal is just a setting on the dryer, and I love each and every one of you. Thank you, guys. Oh, that's that camera. Hi. Huh, huh, huh.